Hello and welcome to our next video. We're still talking about foundations in audit, part of ACCA's FIA qualification. Uh, this time it's video number seven based on our express notes, which you can download from the website www.theexpgroup.com. Right now we're on chapter four, page 25 in those express notes. And we will be talking about financial statements assertions. Assertion is a very important audit concept. And most students, by my ex experience, have absolutely no idea what it's all about, what assertion is. So we will try to explain it in the most approachable way. Now, an assertion is a certain statement made by the managers. So assertion equals a statement by the managers. Let's take the example of inventory and Let's say that at the 31st of December 2011, that inventory in the financial statements is stated at whatever, $5 million. Now, by saying that, the managers say that the inventory exists It is properly valued only the inventory that was supposed to be shown at 31st December was shown there the inventory was counted accurately and that the inventory belongs to the company. In other word, words, by putting just one line in the financial statements of inventory 5 million, for the reader of financial statements, what it means is that the 5 million is the proper valuation there is only things that should be there. They belong to the company. They were calculated. They were counted during the count. And for sure, they are there. All these things are the assertions. Assertions that the management makes about the inventory figure. And now the auditor's job is to check that these assertions are actually true. Auditor's procedures must be designed in order to verify that transactions occurred, they're completely included in the financial statements, they're accurate in the proper period, they're well classified. All right. That's the objective of auditor's procedure. So for each, to, to illustrate it, for each item in the balance sheet or statement of financial position or in the statement of comprehensive income, the auditor must think or determine or list the actual assertions that relate to that particular item. And when this list is performed, the, the, the detailed procedures, the tests will be designed to address those assertions. So, for the PL items, the following assertions need to be considered. That the transaction occurred during the period. Was it completely recorded? So, 
are all revenue transactions included? Aren't there some contracts that were hidden in somebody's drawer and they have not been recorded in the financial statements? Were they accounted for accurately, without errors, errors of transposition, for example? Were they recorded in the proper period? And finally, were they properly classified? Is this revenue or other operating income? Right? These are the assertions about P&L. For the statement of financial position, we will have a different set. Just like the ones we went through for inventory. Do assets or liabilities actually exist? Do we have right to those assets or are we really obligated by the liabilities? Were assets or in particular liabilities completely recorded? And finally, what is their value? Were they properly valued in accordance with relevant reporting framework for example were they properly valued in accordance with IFRS was investment property if it is investment property was it properly valued in accordance with the relevant standard we will also have assertions about the presentation and disclosure there are things that are not in the statement of financial position and they're not in the PL, but they need to feature in the financial statement somehow in the notes usually these will be contingent liabilities non adjusting after reporting year after reporting date events these all things must be in the financial statements however they are not on the statement of financial position or statement of comprehensive income so for these we need to determine whether they actually occurred are all of them included in the financial statements? Are they properly classified as re events after re the reporting period, as contingent liabilities? And finally, were they properly valued if the valuation is possible, like for contingent liabilities?